Hey guys, Tivik here, and welcome to episode 5 of Minecraft Season 4. And in the last episode I set these up and they were horribly wrong like this, but now I've updated my version of, um, of um, Billcraft, so it's now looking good. And I'm just... okay, so that one's full. I'm just filling these guys with... Water. Perfect. And now, if I could just get some levers. Oh yeah, I moved everything over to this room here. This is just temporary, but at the same time, I will probably connect some um, uh, applied logistics system in this room so that I can have the storage here, but, you know, kind of well hidden away under the ground or something. Uh, and I'm just going to make myself another set of levers. And I tell you, the cotton produces really quickly. They did a change that you can collect it now without having to um, uh, having to replant all the time. And I also planted some barley over there, which is good. Now, we need coal in these guys. Um, 32 for each. These are just temporary, but we are going to get... Um, I want to cook some more of that. And I can do that in one of these. And then we want to grab more iron. Why aren't they outputting anything? Isn't this connected? What? I'm confused, guys. Let's uh, check again. Wooden conductive pipes. Did I have to break and replace? Now it's going out of here, not out of there. Mm. There we go. I was worried there for a while. That's a bit buggy. I wonder what that is. Oh well, it's working. And I am one brick short. The reason why I wanted to cook this up is so that I can grab myself a chest and try out one of these new hoppers. They have five slots and as far as I can tell they should be able to connect. Okay, let's uh, get some... Um, yeah, let's get some more iron. No? Oh, this one is connected to the side. Oh, interesting. Aren't these supposed to connect to the top? Now it's going in. Okay. The cool thing with hoppers is that they can... 
pick up from what I drop here. Cool. But I don't quite like the fact that they are in front of the machine. No. I would have wanted them to be on top of the machine. Maybe... Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's how I wanted it. Right, so then I can actually turn this machine again because I want to have the... Oops. That was the wrong button. There we go. Did it collect the other stuff or did that just... Oh, of course. Whew. Okay, so now that we have that, I can actually smelt up eight of those with a coal piece here. There. And now we're going to make uh, another frame. We're going to make a powered furnace. Which means we need eight clay. And that is something I know I have. I need to smelt these. Of course a machine frame and a coil. So we'll need some copper gold. We actually need more gold. Do we happen to have any? Yes, we do. Perfect. Um, yep. I'm just thinking there if I should uh, actually cook up that pulverized gold there, but I suppose I'll wait. And as soon as we run out of space in this, we'll have to figure something out. But I will put down a chest nearby um, for the moment. There we go. Now it empties out into this one. That's just temporary until I can get this working. Um, pulverized gold. I don't want to burn so much extra coal on this, but I guess there is not, not a lot more to do. There will be spiders on top of this. Pretty sure it will. Oh well. Um, now gold, redstone, of course, glass. Just a little bit of glass. We can make uh, this one, the reception coil. And now that we have these, we have the bricks. Good. And... Ah. Come on. Using this one with some gold and this. And one more. After this, one more. Actually, fairly balanced on the steam here. And they're f actually not that bad when it comes to the production of energy. I mean, this one is taking the full four megajoules from these machines. Machine frame, bricks, redstone, coil, and copper. It's a powered furnace. Now we can get rid of this. And place that one there. And the left one will be blue, so this one will fire up and uh, take the iron, and that will in turn be put into this chest. That way I can fill the hopper with a lot of ores, which I'm going to do. 
copper and uh, don't need the ferrous one now, but I will need tin. I need silver at the moment, I think. And this one is not using the full. This one is using about three. So together, these machines can't run this powered furnace. Hmm. But I think we'll be fine. I think definitely that we will be fine. All right. So what do I want to do now? I do want to make sure that we cook up this clay. And let me just think here. We need to use... Because I'm going to make a coke oven. oven. So I'm going to need 26 of these. So let me just... 26 times 4 is 104. Um, we need 40 of those. <coughs> I should make another powered furnace. I have the materials, don't I? Yeah, definitely. Get the pulverized iron out. Smelt up some more sand. And we need that and that. I don't know. With the new settings in Minecraft, um, I feel that the new inventory stuff that is, I feel that it's a little bit tricky to work with things. Maybe that's just me. But definitely. Gonna make eight of these. I can't move them back up, right? Yeah, can't. That's fine, though. Oop. And I'll need to get another. Those oh. and we need to wait for this to be finished. Um, these guys aren't overheating, that's good. Let's go out and harvest a bit while we're out here. Oh, yeah, yeah I got blueberries now. That's awesome, though, these are a bit wild. Look at this, I just right click, or I hold the right mouse button and just walk over them, and uh, cotton. This is like a red power flax, but on steroids. That was 39 cotton, by the way. Perfect. I don't understand this, though. All of a sudden, some of these have turned into cotton plants. That has got to be a bug. Okay, I'm going to clear this field. Just remove these. I'll move these in there. Do they kind of cross-pollinate? I don't know. Hmm. 
Hmm, very odd. Indeed, very, very, very odd. Um, let's just dump the seeds and... Uh, there. We have all these ones now to make. Oh, I need one more thing. Yeah, I think that the game feels a bit sluggish with the with the newer settings here. Probably wrong, but you know. Um I'm going to put this one turn that off. Hmm. Okay, now let's see. This one empties into the back. That's fine. Um, that's. Let's see. Yep, that works. This one only empties there. We'll make that a double chest. This is a very, very, very basic manual and then not manual system. Um, I'm actually going to make another one of these hoppers put on top of there. There we go. So that I can put that in there. Now, of course, that blue side there needs to be orange. Also, now I can put in these. Wow. That's going to take forever. And now we are suddenly way low on power for this. But that's all right. We can build another steam engine. Let's do that. This one's been churning through the ores. That's good. Um, we need some wood. We need some stone. And we need a redstone. We need a piston. We need a little bit of glass. And then we need gold. Do I have enough gold? Five. We have to prioritize gold then. Okay, so it's intelligent enough to see that there is space for that. I like it. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of gold. We need to make nuggets out of the gold because we need to make gears with these like so don't think I can nope can't make these in two but at the same time I need to do that anyhow so Piston and glass and a hobbyist steam engine we have. And yeah, I also need to get one of these guys. Perfect. There we go. Gold and that and 
Steam Engine that we turn to look that way. Brilliant. And did I have a lever on me? No. Of course, he also needs to have a little bit of coal. So, now that I have this set up, what do I want to work on? Hmm. Once the coal coke oven is set up, I'll put that one over here, I think, in this corner. It's a 3x3, three three, so if I destroy these... put it in there. Yep, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Is this one not sending out? Yes, it is. It's just not... Hasn't really gotten anywhere to send it, I think. But the machines are running at good speed, although not full speed yet. but good enough speed. This will be manual, so once these are done, there won't be more in it anyhow, so... Yeah. Okay. So, once the co-coke is done, the reason for that is that I'm trying to get some tracks, because we want to set up some carts. Not a work cart, not a TNT cart or anything, but we are going to go with the cart assembler. So we need to make some PCBs and uh, stuff like that. And that's going to be very interesting once we get it done. Um, can get put that in there. Might as well just pick these up and put them in this chest for the moment. And put these... Oh, I can't. question is if I have enough sand. And also, we we'll want to get some silver, and some more tin to the hopper here. Get another tin. So now we have silver and tin, and that's iron ore being worked on. The polarized gold probably won't go into there manually, so I'll do that, well, manually, automatically, so I'll do that manually. Liking this! And we need to get rid of a few things. Okay, so now we wait, and I'm gonna wait for a little while here, and I'll do that off camera to save you that trouble, so see you in a second. And it turns out I don't have enough sand for this. So I figured I'd go digging for some sand over here. I'm gonna find a good place to dig. Actually, this isn't too bad. So I can get plenty. I need about 130 sand, and that was not intended. 130 sand for uh, the coke oven. And we need to get that up running fairly soon. And I think that I'll be using wood instead of normal coal, although I get a lot more creosote oil. Which is the main reason why I'm getting it. And also we get coal coke, which we'll need for steel. We could use charcoal as well, I suppose, but... Hmm. Yeah. It'll have to do. I'll also need a whole lot of sand for another reason. Um, Tinker's Construct 
If I want to get any better tools, I will need to get um, uh, one of these smelter thingies that they add. Oh, and what is this? Is that appetite? Oh, yes it is. Um, this is very good. Um, especially since appetite is plenty when we find it. I mean, this will be enough for all the forestry needs in the future. Though, I don't know how much forestry I'll use in the first round here. I usually go directly for that, but I'm thinking I'll use carts. Steve's carts have a lot of fun farming stuff. So... Wow. I already have several stacks of appetites. Um... Don't need that much, do we? No. Perfect. So I read a bit, and uh, the whole thing with barley turning into turning into cotton is a bug. So I'm gonna get as much of the barley seeds as possible in there, and uh, I will update later. Since it's on a server, it's a bit of a pain to update. Um, now I have enough sand, definitely, and all these bricks are done. Let's see, we need to put sand in one of these shapes, bricks like so. That's 28, we need 26. Coal, coke, oven, brick. Oh. Coke oven. Awesome. And now we don't need to make any more bricks. We do need to, however use this clay with some sand. Actually, let's get the coke oven started on one stack of coal. There we go. Um, yeah, clay with gravel and dirt. No, it's gravel and sand. Makes grout. And grout is smelted into seared brick. I will make that much because I don't know how much I'll need, but probably not that much. But the material is easy to come by. And we'll stop the iron smelting and go for the grout. I was hoping that that wouldn't require so much, but it seems to. 80 pages of this. Wow. Let's see if I can find the grout. Oh yeah, these guys as well. Hmm. The only thing I don't really look forward to in... Um... Huh. Oh, it's for... Oh, it's for that. I think... That's the way you make seared bricks. Let's um, let that cook up. Put that near this one. Uh, looking at materials and you, um, we need a smeltery controller and then seared bricks. We'll also need a drain, I suppose, a ta tank for lava, and a faucet and some casting tables. Make two of them. Because I want to do a little bit of alloying. Not that I actually understand how that works. But I'm pretty sure that I will learn as soon as I craft that thing. So let's do that. Okay. That was a bug. Okay, but now we have casting construction alloys... 
Yeah, so we need a lot. The smeltery controller, the lava tank, which uh, was made... Wow. Aluminum brass, manolin, aluminite. Yeah, so we need to make some glass because of that. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of this. But a lot of it is cooking, so... If I get that and... That much, I can put that in there. Put the iron there. And this one will fill up with tin and stop. These will work faster and uh, this will balance itself out. Hopefully. I hope. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll place it along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I'm just looking at the way that they build it. Um, We'll preserve mm. mixing two metals in the smeltery may result. Yeah, um. begin construction by laying a three by three bed of seared bricks. Yes, leave the space open. Okay. Um, okay, it has to be five by five. So we'll smelt a little bit of glass, like nineteen should do. How are we doing for bricks? Okay, now. Um, let's take a look at this one again. Yeah. I don't understand. Okay. So, as far as I understand it, you can build it like... Hmm... I don't want to build it anywhere. I think this area is where I'm going to build it. So, I'm going to fill this in with bricks. Normal bricks, though. <laughs> because this one is big enough to hold the area. I hope I get the back get get them back. Um like that. And we put the smeltery controller there. And we do need to make a lava tank. Which is bricks around glass. Okay, now we need to build lava tanks and drains. Well, bricks. Ten uh, should do. I have no idea what I'm doing here. So, 
Oh, not like that. There we go. It's a smeltery. Wow. Okay. Now, I have no idea exactly how this works. But I am pretty sure that I will need to get lava. And I know I have a bucket here. And we have a little bit of lava. The question is, how much do I need? Well, let's take a look at this one. Um... I do need to make a faucet and a casting table. That's a casting table and that's a faucet. I think I need more. How are we for these bricks now? Zero. Hmm. I can't make so many of them, so we're gonna have to live with this. I'm going to remove the table and put it down one. Okay, now let's take a look at this. And uh, I can see that I'm actually way over my time on this episode. So I'll round this off and in the next episode we'll take a look at this uh, smelting and see what we can do with it. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.